welcome to another video in this video we will discuss how we can implement cascading drop downs in power apps you can see here let us see what our data is organized here this is my sharepoint right and in this sharepoint i have a list called as address and in the address list i have three columns one is title next sheet state and city and i have different titles like india and uk and every title might have multiple cities like I have created for India, Odisha is one state, another is Jaipur. Like that, for every state there might be multiple cities, right? So Odisha might have Bhubaneswar, Barampur, then Jaipur has Jaipur city. Like for UK, I have just created one state and one city. Let me create another for UK. Let me define UK age title state let's say london okay then i can uh, define london city as city you can define your correct uh, authentic data but this is for domain data right so uk state has two uh, state and two city right and india has two states and uh, odisha state has multiple cities Right. Now I want to implement this as a drop down. Whenever someone select India, it should select it should display only the states belongs to that India country. And once the state is selected, it should select, it should display the city belongs to the state. Now let us see how we can implement Power Apps. I am in Power Apps and let us create new Canvas app and give a name. Say uh, cascading drop down. I am just giving a name. cascade drop down you can give any name of your choice and you can choose whether it is phone or uh, tablet let me use phone now here i want to design some ui elements or controls so this is my canvas let me add some some rectangle to make it uh, or to beautify the screen right and i can drop uh, drop a text level to display the title of this app let's say cascade drop down right and i can make it white right let me zoom it okay now you can see so i want to have three drop downs right one text level and let me drag one text label then one drop down let me search drop down here so this is the drop down i can make it smaller width so let me change this text label as country okay now let me uh, let me just uh, replicate three times country and this will represent as uh, state and this will represent as city so let me just rename it country then we have state then we have uh, city i can go here and update as city right so this is drop down one drop down two drop down three right you can you can rename it otherwise keep it open this uh, this is drop down one and this is drop down one underscore one and this is drop down one underscore two so i want to connect this power apps with sharepoint so i can go to data first click on add data and search sharepoint and whenever i will use sharepoint i can use the connection it will automatically connect some uh, you know list uh, some site that you have created in sharepoint let me choose my SharePoint site and choose the list item. This is the list I have created to store the address information. So the first thing, once you connect the data, you have to connect these items, data items or to all the drop downs. So click on this and go to right side items and choose the address data source and select value edge title because title is used to store country. Next, select the state select the address as data source and 
state as item to display next in the city do the same thing but in the value you select uh, city right so where is that city uh, this one right so I have connected corresponding data items fields to the drop downs now if you run it you will see there are some duplicate countries here also there are some duplicate countries uh, duplicate states here also there are some duplicate uh, although if it is not duplicate it is not dependent on the drop down above drop down right so let us fix it first thing is you have to implement the distinct functionality for the first drop down because i don't want to see uh, multiple uh, duplicates so you can go select this and go to items So items property will be used to filter or use distinct operation. So just use a power effects called as distinct. And inside distinct, you have to pass the first parameter as the data source called as address. And second parameter is the uh, column, column name, right? The column is title which stores the country. Now it is done. So it will now display the countries uh, with non duplicate value can you see that India and UK non duplicates now once it is done I want to implement the dependent concept for this drop down that means it will only display those states who belongs to this country selected so click on this click on this depend on option in the right side property you have to choose which parent control you want to check my parent control country is drop down one so i can choose drop down one result should match with address data source and title and click on apply so what it will create for you the item of this the items property of this drop down will change like filter address data source where title matches with the country selected from the above country drop down now you can test run it I have selected India so it displaying from India um, states now let me choose UK now it will display UK states right but still we need to fix something here because if you select <coughs> select UK and here the state is duplicated right I want to make some uh, duplicate detection right here duplicate removal so how to remove that duplicate you have to use again distinct to encircle this filter so use distinct like above for this time I have to use state so it will return the distinct states and bind it here right now I can run it if I'll select India Odisha and Jaipur if I'll select UK England and London right so non duplicate concept and it is filtering also according to the drop down cascading drop downs now what about city I want to also filter the city if I'll change Jaipur this would also filter right it should not display everything now go here to the third drop down click on depend on option in the right corner property panel here you have to choose parent control as the drop down 1.1 1, 1 underscore 1 this is the state drop down right now this drop downs value or result should match with address data source and the uh, column is state so the state should match with drop down selected here click on apply now if you run it you will see for every country let's say select India state is selected if I'll select Odisha the city will be updated as Bhuvaneshwar and Barampur if I will choose Jaipur then it will display Jaipur city right so everything is now cascading everything is dependent on the uh, city is dependent on state and state dependent on country right you can choose UK England and London right now it is also updated for England it is displaying uh, South Sea if you change to London it is displaying London City now these three drop downs are wired up now if you change a country state will be populated as for the cascading concept and if you select state city also be updated 
So I hope you understand how cascading concept is implemented in Power Apps. And if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel. I will come with more technical videos in future. Thank you guys.